is uh, a video to introduce my final reflection essay. It's not uncommon for a, for any sort of first year writing course or any course to have some sort of final reflection. It's uh, really beneficial for students to uh, to be metacognitive, to think back over the last uh, 16 weeks, 8 weeks, 5 weeks, depending on how long the course is, uh, and just think through the lessons that have been learned, the points of growth, the moments of struggle, even little f failure, where you've been able to fail along the way so that you can succeed long term. Um, that's not an uncommon thing. Um, but uh, the reflection for my course at least is not just tell me the story of the semester, which is what sometimes it ends up feeling like if I don't give more specific instructions. Instead, instead what I'd like my students to do, um, what I'd like you to do if you're a student of mine is to um, is to self-evaluate. Be your own systems analyst. Um, so uh, as a final essay, I want you to evaluate how you developed as a writer across the semester, and you should be looking at specific moments in your own writing. So cite your own work, quote your own work, um, to indicate what lessons you've learned, how uh, those lessons affected um, either you internally as a writer, mentally, how you approach uh, the task of writing or the uh, the uh, process of writing or the act of writing um, and uh, and or lessons about um, practical hands-on lessons um, that you learned in the production of the writing. Um, so was there a mentality change or, um, or was there a new task that you decided to incorporate? Uh, did you draw on someone's feedback? Any of those things are things you could talk about. Um, but you should not just say what happened or what the lesson was or what you did, but why that changed things and how that seems to have improved um, or affected the way you write long term or your perception of writing long term. Um, so that's what it means to be a systems analyst, where you're pushing not just describing what happened, but pushing into self-evaluation. Um, as you do this, um, I do want you to cite your own work, as I said, but also um, as we've been working through uh, my course, you've been getting all kinds of um, content about writing, because I do teach it as a writing about writing course. Um, and so you've, uh, you, my students have been introduced to a variety of readings on everything from uh, rhetoric and audience and genre to writing technologies to linguistics, morphology, syntax, phonology, all those fun things, um, as well as uh, readings on writer process and um, and for the and as we got closer to the end, uh, you you're likely to, I've, I'm likely to have asked you to look at things like the framework for success, which, talk, which talks about habits of mind and uh, the, w, the national WPA outcomes and all that fun stuff. And so uh, you can use any of those sources, cite from them to talk about some of the lessons you learned. So you, uh, you don't have to do new research, but you should draw on the readings uh, from the class. So how have the readings uh, influenced some of those mental shifts or uh, practical uh practical strategy shifts. Um, what did you see yourself developing as a writer or where do you still struggle and how does one of the readings kind of point to that? So um, you are using that research you've already done as part of the normal process of working through the course to now look back at your own writing um, and do an analysis and evaluation of your own writing to figure out what has improved, what still needs to improve. Um, to get started, you might ask questions like, how did I develop a specific writing skill or two? How did I learn specific writing content and knowledge? Was there something new in this course? You know, I've got all the eight aspects of writing and we've begun to develop this systematic, holistic, complex model of what writing could be. How did some of that change the way you approach writing? Um, uh, is there uh, is there something you used that you already knew but you were able to innovate to make it adapt to some of the weird assignments I have you guys write? Um, or were you able to accomplish a new task uh, as a result of that pre-existing knowledge? Um, you could even look at what you gained from peer assessments um, since you're, since most of my courses have um, have my students getting anywhere from uh, two to three rounds of peer assessment that is uh, multiple paragraphs long and a numerical score on all eight aspects of writing and all that. You could use any of that as well um, or any feedback from me that you got and discuss how that has changed or affected the way things turned out on the page. Um, and then finally you could say how did your writing process affect your essay product? Um, because as I've said before we want an a, we want to develop a more effective writing process 
so that we have a more effective product at the end that accomplishes your rhetorical goals, that, are, that accomplishes what you're trying to do with the piece of writing in, a, in the most effective way for a specific audience, specific genre, specific rhetorical context. So um, cite your own work, cite the readings about writing in the course, the research on writing about the course, um, cite uh, specific feedback you've received either from me or the substantial amounts of feedback likely that your peers have given you um, if I'm running the course as I usually do in case it's something weird like COVID uh, and keep that in mind uh, there is technically a word count limit or range for this assignment but the more you want to reflect and write the more I'm gonna enjoy it I love this type of writing and hopefully you'll enjoy working through what it is that you can um, what you see as major growth points for the course so enjoy this is kind of how this final essay works um, if you are a teacher or someone uh, wanting to use something like this you're welcome to borrow it you can uh, email me at gregory.fields at cgc at uh, edu or you can just comment in YouTube and, and uh, I can send you the prompt if that's what you want or you can just work and do your own version of it if you like it uh, that is what it's here for um, so as my students already know and have seen a lot of times I give my prompts out onto YouTube um, in case other faculty want to use them so hopefully you found this useful and um, hopefully this spin on it on uh, on a reflective essay at the end of a semester uh, challenges you if you're a student to think at a deeper level than maybe you have before or if you're faculty maybe this gives you an idea of how to get beyond uh, simple descriptive essays of this is the my path for the semester uh, have a good one and hang in there